as I stated in the topic, I don't think marriage should be redefined. And I don't I don't think this for the same reason that Christians do. It's a completely different reason. For me it shouldn't be defined redefined because it hasn't even been defined in the first place. Marriage is a contract between two people or more. You know, every culture, every country, every time period has its own different idea of what marriage is. There's a general idea of marriage being a contract between two people, two more people to spend their lives together. Back in the past, you know, it was just something you did. You got together and you were married. There was no ceremony. There was no religious, or necessarily religious, or you know what, not, or governmental recognition or anything. It was just a contract, or even just something that was decided. You know, even the United States. You know, the idea of marriage has changed multiple times. But marriage itself wasn't necessarily redefined. No, marriage is between two or more people who love each other. That's the important thing I feel. No, it's sort of become this idea of late. You know, gays want to redefine marriage. Marriage is going to be, you know, between what Christians define as marriage. And really what we're talking about is what is recognized as marriage. What would a government recognize? Not what religions will recognize, but what will governments recognize? And that's a completely different story, I think, to me. You know, and there's this big church-state separation. This church, the churches should not get to define what the government will recognize. No. I think that's a huge violation of church-state separation for the religious to demand their particular idea of marriage to be defined. No. And that's what I think is really important. We need to you know, get off this idea of it being redefining marriage and putting it into what is recognized as marriage. Because there's marriage in other countries, other cultures, that I'm sure Christians wouldn't recognize as marriage. But it doesn't mean that they're not marriage. Just because you don't recognize it in this country does not make it not marriage. And that's when I, you know, I don't know. I just feel we've got to sort of hit this home. Yeah. That what is class, what we recognize as marriage changes all the time. You know, this idea that redefining marriage is exactly what probably happened, if not did happen, you know, when it was changed for interracial marriage, interfaith marriage, and always other times marriage has changed. The United States has changed multiple times. So now, interracial, to law, interfaith, to, to marry for love. That's a new concept. You know, so don't try to to find for everyone else what marriage is. What is important here is what's recognized. And what's recognized should be different from what necessarily certain people want to recognize, you know, it's because there's certain rights and privileges. And people are going to bring up, you know, bestiality or pedophilia and whatnot. But the government doesn't recognize those marriages or anything like that because it's a contract. And a contract cannot be signed by people incapable of understanding the contract, either too young or mentally not able to understand it. 
you know, different species or whatever. <clears throat> and that's what's important here. Comment below if you agree or disagree. I'm hoping I'm making sense. So let me know your thoughts on this.